Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're Mr. General Crando, and we're playing the Risk meta settings, the most popular settings on the most popular map, Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. And we're yellow, baby. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's have a great game. We're first. What do we got for blizzards? Russia is cut off quite heavily. What is this? Eastern. Whoa, Russia, dude. All right. Wait. Russia is a one-point guard from Prussia. Figure that out. That's interesting. Orient. Dude, I actually have a great spawn for coming out of Orient or taking Orient. Wait, what is this? This is a nice little funnel. What is going on here? The whole left the whole left side of the board, I guess this way for you guys, is basically no blizzards. I could also cap in noob corner. I'm going Russia, baby. Dude, if somebody caps down here, I will be furious. Like, here's the problem. If I go Russia and someone caps here, I'm screwed. We're doing it. I don't care. We're doing it. Whoop. Okay. I also remembered I got to turn territory names back on. And what else was I going to do? I was going to turn this on. All right, let's go. Let's get into it, guys. You guys know the drill. Progressive capitals, Europe, advanced Alliances off, portals off, fog, blizzards on, standard risk meta settings. Most popular settings in the game. Why are you talking like that? Because I'm high as hell. No, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm having I'm having a good day, man. It's a good day. Now, uh, Green is going to do some whoopty slapper in here. I want to bring my three up and hopefully he leaves it. We'll see. That's a nice cap. Cuts the map in half here. I will come out of Russia, and I will be a single point card block from Prussia later. But you know, we have the honeypot. I thought about capping in London. Going first, I think strategically, strategically, the correct cap would have been London here. I think that would have been the smartest cap. I think it would have been the best cap. But, raw dog Donkey Kong time? You, you know me, guys. You know me. Let's, uh, what? Let's do this. Oh my god, that was a bad dice roll to start. What's this? I'm not going to take everything, but I want to see... Okay. And I'm going to bring this three out of here. Because I want this bonus next, and I want to be, uh, I want to send a fist bump, but I'm not going to emote. Um, our opponents, we got Gobel the Rash. That guy's itchy down under from United States. General the Meek, United States as well, with a 69 in his name. Professor Swallows from United States as well. That's a lot of Americans. I know Bell End or Bellows. It wouldn't be a game on the Kilted Channel without a Spanish player. Let's go Tridor, 71 from Spain. And General the Little from Canada. Poor boy. Okie doke. So as long as as long as we don't get Ramdingo by blue later, we're we're looking good, right? No caps in here unless there's a Sevastopol. If someone capped in Sevastopol, I will be not happy. Depending how things go next turn, I may go for like the full Ramdingo take this bonus. And like maybe not even guard my capital too heavy. I wanna I wanna snowball, so we might move quick. We may move quick. I presume I'm going to get six troops and make this a nine, eight, eight on two on two, and I get it. And then this, it's going to be tough actually to finish this bonus with uh, with protecting the capital. Because I might only get five if I lose five territories. We'll see what black does, right? Like I'm going to lose like one, two, I might lose these three, like I'm definitely losing this one. So the question is, does green break this and knock me out of here or not? And maybe I, you could actually make an argument that maybe I should have just went for Orient right away. I got six troops, right? So eight on two. And maybe this is a one, a one, six on three on one on one. Like I could, yeah. Good luck me, right? Yep, he's taking the Scandinavia first. Decent Denmark cap for red. Yep, hopefully he doesn't split and then also take this one out. I want as many territories. I need to have 12 territories plus, realistically, to have a good shot at taking Russia. We cross our fingers. 
Okay, blue's down here. I'm going to lose this one. I might lose. Actually, blue's probably going to go all the way. So we're down to 12 already with black still to go. And black's going to go for orient. So I'm getting five troops. Eight, seven, seven on two on two. Oh, man. I don't actually think I get this bonus right away. Do I think about taking Eastern Europe instead? Come off this two, run to Sevastopol, and then maybe split into here. Would green let me hold with this three? <laughs> Black's not adding in here? Okay. 12 territory baby town. He's Spain or something over here. Definitely that is needed. So I can make this an eight, and if I hit... No, there's no, there's no good way to do this. Like, I, I make this a three, try a three on one. What is better, Eastern Europe or Russia right now? Okay, I think we're just going to do this, and we're going to see. I'll have to go off cat. Okay. okay. Good dice here, and I can go off cat. Okay, I can't. Do I try the two on one actually? I'm gonna try it. Two dice slider would leave a four. I can make an eight cap. No, I, I can do this with a three. I have a six cap. Okay, maybe I should have left the two. I wanted my cap as strong as possible. <laughs> Preferably don't get ramdingled by purple. Gobble the rash. I do not want to catch what you've got. Don't make me itchy. Under the stitchy? Please? If I can actually hold Russia, I might even just go for Orient. We'll see what way green goes. Because like Eastern Europe might be tough if green knocks this out, right? Maybe I just buff this and at some point green never hits it and we're friends. How good is... He's got an older account. Purple goes here. He's going for France or breaking France. The benefit of where I am is I'm kind of on the outskirts. So in the, the meta settings, the best way to snowball is on being one on the outsides and kind of taking over a bunch of the board nobody's contesting. So if, if red's got Scandi and he's fighting with blue over noob corner and then purple and black are fighting in Spain and France... That's a lot of fighting there. Green's going to be in the middle of the board, rather uncontested. Probably comes down, takes Africa and Orient, and then he's going to snowball out of there. I'm going to try to snowball out of my my pocket. Yeah. Yeah, green, green immediately doesn't even let me have this, right? He started with, what, nine? He only got one of these plus fours? Is somebody's cap here? That'd be funny. Oh, I don't like this. I want the Orient. Well, if I hold Russia, I can probably go for it, right? Red holds Scandi. He wants another bonus. I think he should be going for this middle bonus. <laughs> yeah, so Red added here and hit my two. But he lost troops, so he's only got a three left over. What does Black do? Black probably went for Spain. Blue's rolling. I wonder if he went into Red. Okay, Black's got Spain, I think. Or Italy, but I think Spain. So if he doesn't go in here, I may just go hard in here. And if red if red's fighting blue over here, then he won't be able to contest me in Orient. So I go everything on this one and go pop, 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 pop or something? Mm. 13, I could make a 14. I could probably clean this with a 14, honestly. Try. Still, Purple gets ten. He's got. France or Italy? Green knocking me out of here sucks, but if I can actually hold Orient for one turn and then come down to Egypt and have a stack, that's Egypt, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I can try to come out from the right and I, I maybe I can bully green. Maybe I can hold Russia here and kind of like bully green in the back here. With my Russia bonus and then he's got to like kind of come out and around to get me. But doing it would open my cap. We'll see. See what green situation looks like. Purple's not coming into me. If red doesn't ram dingle me here. Because red only gets eight, right? Nine, but he... Because he's got a plus three. He's only going to get eight, I think, because I took so many territories off of him. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe he's got a few... Maybe he gets nine troops. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... Yeah, he's not going to fully clean me out of here. Um, and I will, as long as he's not got like a four stack in Svastopol to just come break me randomly. I should be able to beat him in this side. Green's rolling immediately starts with nine. What's he rolling? Is he going to come down here? If he takes this and leaves it, I would be okay. I know I can't trust him though, because he immediately knocked my three out here. I thought an uh, older accountant would be more... Oh, don't break me. You, you literally can't trust green at all. Okay. Something to note. We know we cannot trust green at all. He puts a seven there. Okay. Well, I'm breaking that. Fuck you. I'm coming all the way in, all the way to Greece. Yeah, red's going to take this bonus. Cool. And that's a good play. Blue gets 10. Kind of want to knock out Svastopol. It, it, the card blocks me faster, but I don't want... I don't know who's here with what. But I also need to destroy green right now with all of my troops. I'm going to get 5, 7, I'm going to get 14. So I can make a 15 stack. 15, 14, 14 on 7. I only really need a 12 on 7, right? So maybe I put 2 here and go to clean this if I can. Black's rolling a bunch. What did red start with? Eight. Yeah, so he didn't have a lot. Green is going to try to snowball, but green... Here's the thing. If green didn't knock my three out here, I would have went for Eastern Europe, and then I wouldn't be fighting green in the bottom. But now I have to fight green in the bottom. Because of what he's done to me. I hope I don't lose a troop on this. Good. Good dice roll. Beautiful dice roll. Good. There's green. I better win this. Thank you. There we go. How's that for a fist bump, bro? I'm gonna go here. Because he's gonna make a 9, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 v6. He could try a 10 v6. But he also wants to go up one, right? Huh. I'm gonna do that. I also, like, might want a card skip, right? If green could be a friendly neighbor, we would both get strong, but we already know he's a douche, so we actually have to bully him. And if I'm holding Russia, and he's only holding this plus four, and I'm holding a seven with lots of territories, I will get more than him, and I should be able to bully him, even if he gets a bit bigger of a trade. Like, the only way he can really hurt me is if he trades on three and somehow cleans all of Orient. Like, I might even trade early just to make sure he can't do that. I guess he could trade on three, come off hungry, and come take my capital. I don't think he's going to quit. He's an older account. It's weird to see an older account that is also this bad of a neighbor. Right? Like, immediately smacks my three stack. Shows no... Yeah, doesn't trade. Comes all the way in. That's fine. Oh, doesn't. Oh, yes. I think he thought I put it in Egypt and he didn't want to open it. So now he's just guarding his bonuses, trying to... Get strong with his two plus fours instead of fighting me. Which is excellent. Can Ram Dingo all the way to here now? Now, everybody else is fighting on the left side. I am very easy to card block. Keep that in mind. 
But if I can get very, very strong, the card block's not that threatening. I'm going to take a card on this blue one. And I'm just going to make a massive Egypt stack. So if he does come, it'll be hilarious. Because he's going to get 13 or 14 troops on his turn. Plus a trade. So he can make like a 20. But if I'm holding both of these, I can have bigger than a 20 here. So he like goes in and then he's like, oh shit. Because I think his plan is to back off, hold these, until he has enough with his trade and his double bonuses to knock me out of here. I think that's going to be his game plan. So I can think about continuing to break him, or I can take a card and chill. Hmm. Good game. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So 13 and a trade for 6 would be 19. He could make a 20. Come in with a 19 stack. So I'll make this a 23. Let's do this. That'll be a nice little surprise for him if he tries to go in there right now with a trade. You can actually make an argument that I should have card skipped there. Because I actually got to hold both bonuses, there was no real need for me to take this card. I could have just card skipped. You can make that argument because I don't think green's going to card skip. Purple's already traded. So I think green doesn't and then red, blue, and black all keep going. But I also think just having cards is going to be good. Like being a card behind might miss me an opportunity later with the way this, uh, this game might snowball from my current position. I think green's fine. He's going to get 13 or 14. I'm going to say 13. If he comes this way, if he comes this way, so it's a 14 stack, he could trade and make it a 20. So it'd be a 19 on 23 if he wants to come in. So I've, I've calculated, if he trades early, what that's going to look like. Doesn't even bother. Takes a card and passes. 13 for red. Yep. Cool. Just going to say, well played. Green actually card skipped, and thanks. Red and I trading there? I, I like that. I'm cool with that. He's showing no border on Prussia to try to card block me, and he's also trading with me without breaking Russia. So I like that. That's so far so good. My position is scary. Goes up. Yeah, hello. I was hoping he would see the 20, like he, he was so focused on just going all the way through the bonus and taking the bonus that he didn't even pay attention to like, see, he didn't see the 23 until he moved all of his troops. I was hoping he'd see the 23 split off the three and then go up four on one. That would have been nice. Okay. Do I have anything that's going to give me a, oh, I'll keep Estonia and Latvia. That's the one I got to keep. I need to keep down here 40. I think 40 is enough. I mean, green's not trading this turn anyways, I guess. Twenty k, I guess. Purple's only getting six. Okay. Purple's bonuses got ram dangled. He was getting more before. He was getting 10, right? Six. Oh. He was getting nine. So he's on six. So instead of having a plus four in like France or Italy, now he has uh, more than 12 territories, but no bonus. Green has these middle bonuses. I don't think green's very much anywhere other than here. If I can kill green, by the way, I will own half the board. So... Keep that in mind, especially, like, if I get the Hungary cap, then I will have, like, Prussia, Hungary, Benghazi, three-point, or something. Or Nalu. Imagine, like, Nalu, Hungary, Blizzard, Blizzard, and Prussia. And then Blizzard. I can own the entire eastern side of the map from three-point. 
if we get there. And red's cap is in Denmark. There's no cap touching the Prussia one, so I could guard a Prussia one, guard on a capital. And I don't know, is there a cap in Nalu? I don't think, no, it, there isn't, because I had a Tunisia two at the start, right? But I could guard, yeah, see? See this guy? See? He was gonna knock me out of this corner if I didn't have uh, a 39. That was a 27. If I had a 20, he was coming in. Fuck this guy. I should destroy him. Well, now he can't even... Now he's not open. If blue doesn't open him, I don't think I take a card. I think I'm going to keep trading with red here, and I'll make this even bigger. I have a trade on three. How weak do you think his cap is if he's got a 20 stack in Greece? Like, is he killable? If I trade on three, is he killable? I get 15 plus my 20 something. I can make an 80 here. Can I just kill green for five troops right now? How many troops did I start with last turn? 22 plus 15. 37. I have a 76. 75, 74. Hit his 27. What does he actually have on his cap? I would have a 50. Does he have a 30 on a cap or more? Like, How would he have a 30 on a cap? He could definitely have a 30. He fought me a bit, but he's got 13 the last couple of turns, but he's been guarding here. I'm gonna try. Yeah, it's a 10, okay. Yeah, screw this guy, man. Yeah, literally screw that guy, man. Um, <laughs> what, what, what do you want? Uh, don't fuck with the bull, you get... Taste your time, baby boy. I own half the board. Red gets 13. He could hurt me a little bit, but I mean... Like, if blue doesn't trade, I think blue's only getting, like, 13, right? I don't think he's getting more. 10, yeah. Blue doesn't get through this 18. He could come up and look at this. Red's gonna break uh, Eastern Europe, which is fine. Because uh, I'd rather he hits this one. That's why I backed off this one. But we've been trading here, so there's no reason for me to be, like, mad at him over that, right? Now I can take Estonia, Latvia, and Prussia and sit with a Prussia, Hungary. As I said, Prussia, Hungary, Benghazi, three point. We're working towards that. Do I have a trade on three? No. So I'm on three cards. Purple's on three, but red's on four. Blue takes a fourth. Black takes a fourth. I take a fourth. Purple takes a fourth. I'm going to trade after them. If anybody goes to five cards, do I look at a kill pay? Possibly. Blue, blue's still getting ten. Where is Blue's cap or uh, bonus, right? He's got a plus four and he's also got 12 territories. That's how he's getting 10. He's not even hitting me. Bro, if I hold all of this, Jesus. The trades are only 25, right? Like I traded for 15. Dude, he only had a 10 cap. So the, the reason I figured out his cap was weak, like if it was a 30 cap or more, I wouldn't have went for it. But the reason I like ultimately, I might not have said it verbally, but ultimately decided to go for it. I'm like, if he's got 27 here, he wasted troops fighting me here. He only got nine the first couple of turns. We're only a few turns into the game. He hasn't had 13 that many turns and he's got a 20 something here. So if there's a 20 something here, he can't have much on the capital. I didn't think it was a 10. I thought it was gonna be like an 18 or a 20 something, but like seeing a 10 was just absolutely beautiful. That's also why I went up to the cap first to see. And then when I saw it was a 10, I did the reach around with the pathing, correct pathing. <laughs> yeah, so he just killed he, he traded, started with 17, 
No, it just killed him and then traded. Okay. So purple's dead. <clears throat> so that was the Spain-France kind of fight shenanigans. Hit 35 troops. Do something like this. Let's try this. It gets 13. Off from a fist bump. He's trading for 30. I'm hoping he doesn't try a ram dingle me. I block these with fours because I'm hoping he hits something else. He hits something else now. I've shown him now I kind of want Eastern Europe and now he's going into blue. Beautiful. And he knows, okay, white's kind of signaled no more hitting, or yellow has signaled no more hitting him. So if I hit yellow at this point with a 66 pointed at me and he's on four cards, a little scary. I don't have a trade on four, or I might be able to win the game like almost immediately. So we're final four. Blue's laughing. Smiley face. He blue only gets blue has no capital. But he's gonna trade. If blue doesn't trade, I think black's gonna trade, kill blue, trade, uh, kill red, and then we're gonna have an interesting 1v1 where I have no trade on four. Oh fuck no. I wish I had a blue kill guard somewhere, man. Black is going to trade and kill blue right now. If he doesn't, I go all in on this 8 and I go looking for the kill. And if I don't find it, I come off the 66 to finish. Up in the corner. Maybe red's keeping a kill guard on him up here. If red could keep a kill guard on, on blue, that would be my, my ideal scenario. Black's going all in. He's going to kill somebody. We're going to be in a 1v1 in a moment. I could lose this game. As much as my snowball's happening, I could lose the game because of the chain kills. Yeah, he's got all the time in the world. He's going to find it. No? Is this real? Okay, wait. There's... I've got to have blue, right? Okay. Hmm. Is that enough to get all of Black's capitals? I don't think so, right? That has to be a win, right? He's got a trade now. But then I have a trade on three. This has to be a win, right? He's got a capital in here, right? Good game. That has to be game, right? Raw doggy danger time. Oh! Oh yeah, run the table, big boy. Oh, right into the corner of the Orient. He's gonna run and hide in the Orient. <laughs> he wants to he, he he doesn't want me to get the world dom i guess which i don't like i don't really care 
I mean, I, I kind of feel like I earned it. Did he go all the way back? I don't know. I don't actually need to do the trade, so let's do this. Um... Whatever, we'll do this. No cap. Oh, he did. Huh. Seems pretty good. He might have a trade on three, but I'm not too concerned about it. Let's just keep the cap strong, I guess. I have the trade, right? But I... I didn't need to use it. I don't know how much is on his cap in Sardinia, right? Or sorry, Naples. I always get these mixed up. I'm literally traveling to Europe soon. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> there it is. All right, what a beautiful game to start the day for me. Hope it's a beautiful game to start the day for you. Let's check the ranks out. That felt really good, eliminating green right away. What a sick green kill into half the board with some honey pop blizzard action, raw dog, fiesta, super town, dog town, grandma town, upside down grandma in a swing, not a sex swing. I don't even know. I'll just start saying random words, and then you either like it or you tell me I'm a cringe ginger with no soul. Just kidding. I had a lot of fun. Novice, beginner, beginner, expert, and intermediate. That was a great bunch of fun. Tasted green boy. Woo! Thank you for joining. Till the end of the video, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. More risk popping up above my head. Go check out some more videos. I have a second channel down below, Kilted Gaming. Go check that channel out. And if you want to watch me live and maybe play a game with me, come join me on twitch.tv slash kilted. I'll catch you guys in the next one.